Back in 2014, Luton Town were in the Conference Premier League. For those of you who don't know, this is the fifth division of English football. It's full of semi-pro teams and even a few non-professional teams. Only eight years later, Luton Town are sitting in the playoffs of the championship, potentially playing in the richest league on earth next season. That's going to be your goal on FIFA career mode if you decide to take over the Hatters. In this video, I'll give you all the reasons that I think Luton Town are the best team in the championship to rebuild and get back to the top flight for the first time since 1996. You might not realise it, but Luton Town have had a similar revival in the past. In 1968, they played in the 4th division. 10 years later, they were in the top flight. The precedent has been set by Luton Town, so if anything, this save can only be considered realistic. You might be wondering how a team like Luton even ended up as low down the pyramid as they did. Well, they fell out of the Football League at the end of the 2009 season. It was the final blow for a club that had already been beaten a couple of seasons in a row. They had back-to-back -back relegations from the Championship to League 2, and this was compounded by financial worries, some administration, and then a 30-point deduction when they were in League 2 that made survival almost impossible. The same season they went down, they showed such fighting spirit that they actually managed to win what was then called the EFL Trophy and is now the Johnston Paint Trophy. 12 days later, after this win at Wembley, their place in the conference premier was confirmed. But the rebuild since then has been so strong that Luton are even planning a new stadium. Luton are really one of the most stable clubs in England, let alone just the championship, and with this stability, you're probably going to want to do a rebuild of your own. Luton are one of the few teams in the championship that operate using their own salary cap. Every single pound of wages and transfer bill has to be justified about how many points this player will earn them. So, for example, if they want to spend a million pounds on a player but they only think he's going to earn them two or three more points a season, they might try and find someone a bit cheaper who can earn the same amount of points. While you're doing your rebuild, try and keep wages down as low as possible. Personally, I would limit to £10,000 because that is still quite a lot of money if you do have a squad of 23 players all on £10,000 a week. To put the save into perspective, from a Luton Town fan in the recent Athletic article, he said if they don't get the playoffs or promotion, he'll be disappointed. But Luton Town shouldn't actually be in this position going from their third smallest budget in the entire league. They should be trying to avoid relegation, not considering promotion to be a realistic target. And that just shows how much Luton Town really are overperforming this year. They've got some really good players. People up front like Adebayo and Hilton both have very good expected goals compared to the amount of shots that they're taking every single match. This it means they are pretty lethal in front of goal. They're producing quite a few chances and they're taking almost every one of them. Their back three that includes captain Sonny Bradley is again very solid. They're one of the many teams in the championship or the football league that play a 3-5-2 formation and honestly they do have the FIFA players to be able to play this kind of system. However, the biggest downside of playing with Luton Town and the reason that I'm saying you should do a rebuild rather than just trying to add one or two players and get up in the first season is the age of their squad. They have one of the oldest squads in the whole of the championship. They've got some big well-known players, people like Henry Lansbury, Cameron Jerome, Robert Snodgrass in there who are all over 30 years old. Even their starting striker Danny Hilton is 32 and despite Adebayo and Cornick both being in their mid-20s, very few of the rest of their squad is this young. Luton Town's youth academy was a victim of how badly their financial situation was. Their academy was seriously hampered by the lack of investment and was nearly abandoned at one point. The only real big name to come out of their academy in the past couple of seasons is James Justin, who did help them progress up the league. He played for them in League 2 and League 1 before getting a big move to Leicester City. Luton actually used quite a lot of this money from the James Justin Leicester City transfer to build a squad that could get to the championship. So maybe that's what you need to do if you do decide to implement quite a high value youth academy. Invest in a couple of scouts, but once your players are sort of getting into the first team, really do consider getting more and more bids in. 
If you've got bids that you're accepting, use this money and try and get to the Premier League. A single season in the Premier League is worth about 10 in the Championship. So while you shouldn't gamble your future, and especially Luton Town as they have done in the past, what you should be doing is making sure you're getting good value for both your sales and your transfers. Which sounds obvious, but most Championship clubs don't do at least one of these two things, and Luton Town are one of the few that consistently do get good value with their transfers. So to sum up this entire save, your goal will be to try and get promotion either with a rebuilt younger squad or the existing older squad that Luton Town start off with. Once you're in the Premier League, use good value monies and try and justify every single signing. Don't go and buy players that you don't need because that is not the Luton Town way and that isn't how they've progressed from the 5th division to potentially getting to the 1st division. Hopefully you enjoy save if you do choose to do one with Luton Town. This is the fourth video in my EFL week where I'm trying to do a video every single day. So hopefully you enjoy this one and you give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more and check out the playlist at the top which has all my FIFA 22 team guides if you are interested in doing a save. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.